a beautiful rendition of O Canada. Good evening from Royal LePage Place. My name is Chase Johnston, the voice of the West Kelowna Warriors. You're listening and you're watching to Murray's Pizza. West Kelowna Warriors hockey on Hockey TV and Mixler. A shot there from the point goes off a stick and it stays in play. Elan Barlevoise playing in this game to keep his Iron Man streak alive. He fires a shot. Puck goes off the blocker of Traska, and the Warriors keep pressuring. Look at Elan Barlevoise go again. He fires, he scores! Doing it all by himself. <laughs> Oh, my captain, look at that. Boy, I'll tell you what. Did he land have that puck for maybe 10 seconds on he, his own? He may have. I'm telling you, that was a, and that was a nice goal, nice shot. Uh, the middle opened up a little bit like the Red Sea there, and uh, boom, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was clear sailing. And so this is a great opportunity as, uh, they get the, as they get their chance. John Evans with another turnover by the Sens. He went to fire it, and it went off the crossbar or can't find the position he wanted, and the Sens will play it off the glass back inside the Warriors' own. Puck collected immediately by Farron. Farron has a look, cross-ice feed. Taylor scores! Right wing side, looking to wrap it around for Sanford. Miscommunication there between Max Sanford and Riley Sharoon. And then Sanford steals it. What a steal there as he drops it back. Nelson, right side, Sharoon! Oh, what a play made by the Warriors. It would have been pretty <laughs> Sharoon. Unable to finish that one off. Now, here comes Chase Defoe, Elan Barlevoise, and Tristan Wheel. Barlevoise here. Waits, looks, fires off the crossbar, and Elan Barlevoise so <laughs> close. And I don't know what it is about the Centennials. They're just letting Elan Barlevoise walk right in. Gets around his own player, Sharoon. Now we got a scent player without a stick. It's Jackson Krill. Look at Elan Barlevoise. Just skating circles. As Sharoon has a look, fires another great save by Traska. Good to see. He was really good on that shift. Nick Ardenaz, and oh, we got a turnover here as Hicklin feeds Ochitwa. Ochitwa, hold down on a player. Are we going to see a penalty shot coming out of this? And no, we won't. It'll just be a hooking call, and uh, Dylan Brooks, though, will hold it in. Look at the patience by Brooks. He fires a shot. Ooh, that one's going to hit Sharoon. Puck goes back the other way. Nelson, he hits the post. Two posts by the Warriors on this power play, and he'll get the puck out here for the Merritt Centennials as they survive. The pressure from the West Kelowna Warriors. 11.55 to go here in period two. As Ben Ward, oh my goodness, Ben Ward and Riley Sharoon gliding and Sharoon gets laid out there by Carter and Carter's gonna take a hit. And Carter's going to the box here after taking that hit from Riley Sharoon. Buck goes back the other way now for John Evans. Evans, can he get a step? Evans gets hooked from behind and lost the puck. Is it a penalty shot? No. <laughs> We're all waiting for the signal. Dylan Brooks. Now the Warriors bring it back inside. Draw pass from Nelson to Brooks. Bottom right corner, Damon Jugnoff getting some rare power play time. Brooks across to Norland. Back to Brooks. Brooks, a rocket. Save made. Rebound. They score. With his second of the game. Oh, captain, my captain, Elan Barlevoise. Ends the power play drought. And the Warriors have restored the lead. It's 2-1. to one. Led by the captain, that's awesome. Five on three here is Krill. Plays the puck back. One time drive with an open net was Farron, and he couldn't finish. Play does resume inside the Warriors' zone. 12 seconds to go in five on three. There's the pass down low. Patella, great save made by Angelo Zoll. Oh yeah. Angelo Zoll has got some has got some fans in the building tonight. Puck goes down low. Again. Levi Carter looking for a shot. Green gets in front of it. What a play by Green. He'll skate the puck up, trying to feed Cameron Hicklin. Hicklin has a step. Hicklin driving the net. He scores! Oh my! Fresh out of the penalty box, taking a beautiful pass from the AP call-up is Cameron Hicklin. Two straight goals against the Merritt Centennials, and it's 3-1 Warriors. That was real, real nice. I, I just thought that the, the play development, of course, when a player steps out of the penalty box, I mean, you know, just it's just the right time. And Now guys like Max Sanford, former Caribou Cougar of the BC U18 League, he wants in on the action. And he has the puck now, left side corner. Nice pass up top to Dylan Brooks. Brooks will fire a shot, he scores! There we are, Max Sanford gets a point. And Dylan Brooks gets a big goal for the West Kelowna Warriors. It's now four to one. A little bit of a seeing eye shot there, Chase. Uh, just sneaks through the pads. And you're right, 
more affiliate players getting points tonight, and that's just awesome. Probably not now. As Green fires a shot off a body that goes wide. Another name that we we'll probably won't see too much of is Elan Barlevise and Marcus Joggin. Now Ben Ward's inside. Ward a drive, save made by Zoll. The puck is loose and they score. 11.33 to go here in period three. And John Evans again with room. Great save made by Traska. Evans another try and another shot. Traska the save again. And of course the game is now high end offensive. Look at this, speaking of high end offensive, crashing the net there was Brennan Nelson. Ran out of room. Zach Rima shot. Save made by Traska. And pressure from behind there by Chase Defoe. Defoe roughs him up. His former teammate. Good buddy. We see a shot over on the other side. Great save made by Zoll. And the Warriors, Tristan Wheel, will get it out. I think the Warriors would love to just give the puck to Barlevise to try for his second career hat trick. Instead, Tyson Jugnoff will feed Barlevise. Beautiful pass to Nelson. Nelson across. Shot. They score. Riley Sharoon with the exclamation point. 5-2 Warriors on the power play. Is that a point for Tyson Jugnaut? Is, th is that the point he was looking for? I thought it was Elan Barlevise getting the first assist. So Elan okay. Barlevise and for Tyson Jugnaut, yeah, that's a good point. He still has not tied Justin Schultz for second in season points. Good hustle there by Damon Jugnoff. He's quicker than a hiccup. <laughs> As Ochet will play it back. There's a shot and a goal. And it's Max Sanford. A two-point night for the Caribou Cougar. That is great. Nice shot too, Max. And the APs are buzzing. <laughs> There's a lot of points for the APs tonight, Chase. It's great. It's six to two, and the Merritt Centennials have pulled the goalie. And you better believe Elan Barlevise wants that hat trick. Is Riley Sharoon going to go for it, or is Riley Sharoon going to try and play it back to Elan Barlevise? <laughs> I'm not sure why they're pulling their goalie, but. And Sharoon looking for a second of the game. He misses. And he's going to hear that on the bench on the way back. This is hilarious. Six to two the score, but the Sensei, hey, screw it. As Chase Defoe will have a turn. Defoe looking for room. Tyson Jugnoff, that's the point. <laughs> Tyson Jugnoff, the three seconds to go, has tied Justin Schultz for 55-0 for single season points. Congratulations to Juggy. He owns the career or uh, single season assist record for defensemen, and he's now tied Justin Schultz. 50th point of the season. That's great. What That's a great. season. That's what a great. season. I do have to ask you, uh, what was in the mind of Merritt to pull their goaltender? Uh, they've done it a couple times this year. Okay. Yeah. All right. They, that's just something that they've done. They did it against the Warriors in their own barn earlier. Uh, the score was 6-3, I believe, and they pulled the goalie, Warriors and that's going to do it. Your sister, number 19, Chase Defoe, and number 8, Brooks. And the goal, 19 of 56. Tyson Trenbach, Defoe, and Brooks at 19 of 56.